Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. Here's your weather video for this Sunday, May 24th. I'm meteorologist Bill Murray. And a red letter day in weather history, especially in tornado forecasting. It was back on this date in 1973. The researchers at the National Severe Storms Forecast or the National Severe Storms Laboratory in Norman, Oklahoma, spotted the first tornado vortex signature on their experimental Doppler radar. The Union City tornado is a tornado that will go down in history. It's one of the most important and uh, this is a, a page or a part of a page out of a booklet uh, that Dr. Joseph Golden sent me when I was a high school student interested in tornado genesis. And um, it was all about that tornado, several research papers, including this portion uh, in which uh, they detailed uh, the first indications of uh, a tornado vortex signature on the plan shear indicator of that Doppler radar. And uh, on this graphic, you can see... Uh, an image uh, from the field of that tornado. Of course, four days later, the same, same storm system would produce a significant tornado in Alabama, one that we'll always remember, one I'll always remember, uh, that uh, hit uh, Brent, uh, killing several people, and uh, also knocking the uh, National Weather Service uh, network radar at Centerville out of commission. It would go all the way up to Wilsonville in Shelby County uh, before lifting. Um, also that same day, a tornado hit center point uh, in Jefferson County, uh, killing one man, and uh, it was a uh, very terrible day in Alabama history, but just four days earlier, uh, it was a bad day in Oklahoma weather, but a great day in weather uh, forecasting history. Uh, we're into the Atlantic hurricane season uh, next uh, by the end of next week, uh, June 1st. Uh, and NOAA has issued their forecast for an active season, several factors pointing to that. Uh, La Nina, uh, warm AMO, uh, wet season in the African areas that tend to help those tropical waves coming off the coast. Uh, so it does look like an active season. We already have had one tropical storm and some activity next week or so, even though things are kind of uh, unfavorable, probably no designated systems. But I wouldn't be surprised if we have another tropical storm uh, before the end of the next two weeks. Lots of activity yesterday on the radar. Thunderstorms very active across central Alabama. Lots of instability, uh, producing some strong storms. One of the strongest over the Birmingham airport. Northeastern parts of the Birmingham metro area. Two inches of rain in just an hour between 6 and 7 p.m. Another inch fell between 7 and 8 when those... Uh, uh, this same area uh, picked up more activity as an outflow boundary, sort of re-energized storms over the Birmingham metro, 42 mile per hour wind gust. Uh, some of the highest um, rainfall that I've seen, at least on the uh, uh, on the storm rainfall off the Doppler, uh, probably somewhere around four and a half inches of rain there, uh, the Anderson Oxford area in uh, Calhoun County, uh, and you can see that showing from the brighter reds there. Um, I don't think the rain will be as prevalent today. Now, while all these maps that I'm going to show you today pretty much look the same, this one today looks a little drier. Um, and I think that's borne out by the convection allowing models, too. This is the 0Z run of the GFS from last night. And for this afternoon, it shows things a little drier. Uh, we won't be completely dry. I think we'll see scattered uh, afternoon and evening showers and storms developing. Uh, good bit of instability again today, good bit of moisture, um, you know, low wind shear, so there'll be the pulse variety, any that do develop, have the possibility of a gusty winds. Of course, most of the times we just translate that into nature's air conditioning, which is quite nice, but uh, sometimes it can produce wet microbursts that can produce damaging winds. Half dozen severe thunderstorm warnings yesterday, probably see a couple today, wouldn't be surprised, no uh, organized severe weather expected. Um, not a lot different on Monday. I think it's still not as active as Friday and Saturday, but still some scattered showers and thunderstorms around for your, your Memorial Day. Like today, middle, upper 80s, you know, not too hot, I guess, by summer standards, maybe warm by May standards, but, uh, you know, a few folks hitting 90 degrees. You know, I didn't really point this out, but on the Sunday system, you know, there's a system in the southern Gulf, bring some heavy rains to Florida, 
you know, by Monday, that system is crossing the Florida panhandle. Yeah, and that might have a little low pressure center to it. Probably won't, you know, become anything. But um, it does have a little bit of a, uh, you know, a bit of a tropical look to it. Tuesday, uh, more of the same. Scattered afternoon, evening, showers and thunderstorms. Kind of watching something out here in the western Gulf. Don't know whether it'll become anything or not. But it's uh, south of the Louisiana coast by Wednesday afternoon. We're still in the soup here. You know, southerly flow. Scattered showers and thunderstorms develop again during the afternoon and evening. That system kind of moves up into southern Mississippi by Thursday afternoon. It's more of the same for us. No real change. Um, you know, maybe just adding some of the moisture Friday looks the same. Saturday, you know, maybe kind of coalescing in front of a, a frontal system, high pressure beginning to get its act together to the north, you know. Then by Sunday, maybe we really do see some difference. Tennessee, northern Mississippi, maybe the Tennessee Valley of North Alabama could be some drying there as this high pressure system gets its act together. That trend continues into that following Monday, and then by Tuesday, June 2nd, we might actually be dry. Isolated storms at best, we'll take it. That week, it uh, looks like it could be dry till the following uh, Friday or Saturday when uh, maybe another front comes in our way. Now, that front would be thanks to this little trough of low pressure. This is voodoo territory. We're looking uh, out at a Sunday evening the 7th, but watch out these low pressures over the southern Gulf of Mexico. GFS has been consistently printing out that we could see a tropical storm over the uh, southeastern Gulf of Mexico, perhaps scooting up toward the Florida Keys, South Florida, into the Bahamas. But um, it really wouldn't have anywhere to go, according to the uh, 500 millibar heights here. Uh, so it might get hemmed in. Could be pulled northward. Ugh, don't know. We'll watch. Uh, not a really high probability of that. Keep an eye on the eastern Gulf the next couple of days. I think you'll see some stronger winds. Uh, probably the pressure gradient more than anything else, but you might see some uh, uh, tropical depression strength winds over the eastern Gulf next day or so. So, you know, it's going to be active, going to be interesting. I think we will see our second tropical storm sometime in the first week or so of June. GFS 16-day uh, precipitation amounts don't look overly heavy. You know, one, two inches of rain across the northern half of Alabama lighter to the south. We'll continue to take any rain we can get. We're thankful for what we got this weekend. Temperatures warm like you'd normally expect. Uh, Tuesday looks like the wettest day, you know, sort of translating into the coolest day, uh, if this is right off the GFS. Of course, it thinks it's going to be 97 today. I hope not. Um, that's not going to happen, not with the wet ground and high moisture levels across the state. But, you know, you get the picture. It's going to be middle to upper 80s, near 90 for highs. We're going to be consistently in the middle and upper 60s to near 70 uh, for our lows for the next several days. And uh, don't forget Weather Brains had a great show this week. Uh, really enjoyed it. Uh, really looking forward to this week's show. We'll be talking to Chris Darden. Uh, the meteorologist in charge at the National Weather Service here in Birmingham, uh, along with uh, the Sioux the Science and Operations Officer, uh, Kevin Laws. They're always fun to talk to and um, always something interesting to talk about and, uh, and always something fun to talk about on Weather Race. Now, this show this week will be on Tuesday night since we will be uh, taking Memorial Day off. And speaking of that, I imagine James will have uh, one video tomorrow about won't be surprised if he does too you know what a guy he is but he'll have two days of course the rest of the week for sure scott will be back on monday or saturday that's his monday i guess and then i'll be back next sunday and until we get a chance to talk about the weather again next sunday as i always tell you keep an eye to the sky because you'll always have something fun to look at <music>